Um, I'd like to recognize some VIPs that we have in the crowd. Um, some representatives from other places in the state traveled great distances to be here tonight. Um, Representative Elizabeth Scott from up in the Everett area is here with us. <laughs> Representative Matt Manweller, who is a real up and comer, well, so is. Representative Scott, but this guy, <laughs> this guy is articulate and he is a total transportation watchdog and we all oh, appreciate hey. it. <laughs> um, and then we have some representatives who did not travel great distances, but we are <laughs> grateful for them to be here. Representative Liz Pike. <laughs> of county elected officials, um, Greg Kimsey, our auditor, and Scott, oh there my gosh, Weber. 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 Scott Weber, <laughs> <laughs> um, we have Jennifer McDaniel, and we have, wait, 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 wait. Connie, 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 I'm looking behind you, Connie Jo Freeman, um, Lyle Lamb, Shane Bowman, and Connie Jo Freeman, our city elected officials. Oh, and Brett Boger, also from um, city councilman from Washougal's here. Right. So, um, Nicole. Don't forget Freeholder. Oh, oh, oh my God. Um, we're all special in some way and we each could stand up and raise our hand and but that would take all night and that's what really not what we're here for um, so again I want to thank you so much for being here tonight it's it means a lot to Linda it means a lot to all of the electeds in the room to know that we have such tremendous support and a tremendous in interest in creating the best and strongest government that we can have um, I'd like to, at this time, introduce Representative Liz Pike, who will um, then uh, introduce our fabulous candidate, Linda Wilson. Thank you. I don't want to stand. I hope I don't break the box. <laughs> <laughs> when Linda texted me earlier this week and she said, Liz, would you, in addition to giving a money pitch, would you introduce me? And I thought, wow, what an honor. And I just want to tell a little story about Linda. Linda and I haven't known each other for years and years and years. And in fact, we've just become really close friends in the last year. And I started talking to her about the house and how important it was for us to win the seat in the 17th. And I told myself that I was never going to ever again convince somebody to run for the legislature because you have to have that fire in the belly. And I know what it's like to run a spirited race, and Linda's going to know what it's like to run a spirited <laughs> race. And one of the top three targeted races for the entire Republican House. And um, the, the Democrats have controlled all three chambers in Olympia for um, out of the last 53 years, all but three of those years. Wow. <laughs> and that is why we have horrible 
uh, industrial insurance rates. That's why we have um, horrible business regulations. The only thing we have going for us in the state of Washington is reliable, cheap power right now. But with Inslee, that could all change too. He's talking about low carbon fuel standards, which will raise our gas tax another dollar a gallon. He's already signed an agreement with the Oregon governor, the California governor, that with this pact that he is going to implement low carbon fuel standards. And British Columbia. Yes. And British Columbia. Thank you, Senator Rivers. So, um, without further ado, I would like to introduce the next state representative from the 17th district. <laughs> Well, I, it's going to be hard to follow all that, my gosh. Um, and I'm happy I shared my soapbox with them. <laughs> my very special little soapbox. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys all being here. It's, it's such an honor to have all of you here to support me. Um, I know that it's going to be an interesting race. I know it's going to be a tough race, and I know it's going to be a hard race. And so, um, but I'm ready. I mean, I've been thinking about this for a while, and, and uh, I'm committed. So I want you guys to know that I'm going to do whatever it is that I need to do to do this. Um, I would love to introduce my family to you because, as you know, family is very important in doing these races. I have to have that support behind me. So I'd like to introduce, start off with my daughter. This is my oldest daughter, Brianne. She's, she's our marketing director. She's also my events coordinator for the uh, campaign, which she put this whole thing on for us tonight. And she's also the, the mother of my um, wonderful grandson that you probably saw this evening. Um, my middle daughter is where? Thank you. Oh, back here. <laughs> uh, she is, um, she is, well, like I said, the middle daughter. She is a small business owner. She is uh, the owner of Ceteria Leather. And so I'm just going to let you know how many people in my family are actually small business owners. It's a, kind of a trend. Um, anyway, that's, she's my middle daughter. And then my youngest daughter here is Kelsey. And she's... <laughs> Kelsey is a barista at Starbucks for a while because she's filling in the time she wants to be in law enforcement. So she's going to be doing that. Um, then I have my mother. Where's my mother? Oh, okay. Mom's over there. Okay. She's a great lady and um, instilled a lot of all the value that I have in my that I believe is came from my mom. Um, and then of course there's my husband and he's back here. He's he's a campaign first dude. <laughs> He actually let me make this decision all by myself. He knew better that he shouldn't be <laughs> saying one way or the other. He's really been my rock. Um, it's re really going to be important to have him there by my side this whole time. So, um, <clears throat> okay, I'm not doing that. <laughs> all right. Um, There's no crying. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, there is. I promise you, there's going to be. <laughs> That's right. Um, so last night I was oh. taking a bath, and um, oh, who am I missing? Your oh my gosh! All right, I'm sorry. My father-in-law is back here. He is the founder of the Wills Industries, which we now own. <laughs> and then I also forgot my niece. My niece is back there. She works for DeWills Interiors, so she's back there as well. Okay, so anyway, what I was going to say is I was taking a bath last night, and I was going through my speech, and I wasn't, I was tweaking it and honing it and all that, and um, I wasn't really thrilled with what I was getting out of it. And then I walked downstairs, and I, I actually got my flyers in the mail yesterday, and my very first one, and so we spent a lot of time on this message, and so really what I want, this really is the message that I want to, to tell you guys, so I'm going to share this with you. We became the most free and prosperous nation in history because of our belief in government that is limited in scope and power. One that is small, transparent, and accountable, serving the citizen rather than the politicians, bureaucrats, and special interests. 
we deserve a government that we can trust. Unfortunately, what we see from our government today is an ever-increasing and unwelcome presence in our daily lives. Far too much of our earnings are taken to support excessive spending. Far too many re regulations have been written to control our activities. Far too many policies have threatened our privacy. We've forgotten that every new law or regulation passed erodes another measure of freedom, requiring more of our hard-earned money to pay for it. We are told that this is for our own good. Is it? I believe economic opportunity, job creation, and quality of life comes from a vibrant and innovative private sector, not a bloated and out-of-touch government. We must realign our priorities and make government live within its means. <clears throat> Trust that I will always put your interests ahead of government bureaucracy. I am not running <clears throat> because I want a career in politics, but because I am a mother and a grandmother and a small business employer who is concerned about the current direction of our state. So there's only really one other thing I really want to add to that, and there's a famous quote. Well, I don't know how famous it is, but it's one of my favorites. It's uh, by Ayn Rand, and I'm going to draw a blank. Um, oh, the question is not who will let me, it, will, it is who will stop me. Yay. And that's awesome.